Okay, guys. Sorry, I've been MIA. Um, but I just got back from. I didn't just get back from Uniqlo, but um, Helen picked me up, and um, I'm just gonna tell you guys a quick story about what happened yesterday and why um there hasn't been much vlogging. Um, so yesterday, Natalia and I were just like I got home from Uniqlo, and there were like these stains on the carpet. Like, not huge stains, like, there were stains, like, over there, right? So there was, like, one, two, three, and then there was, like, one stain right here. So there were, like, four stains, like, just, like, kind of, like, splattered, I guess. And, um, I was, like, I was, like, what's that? And I pointed to it, and Natalia's, like, I don't know, that was there when we got home. And I was, like, uh, I did not do that. And no one else was home except me and her. And John was at work all day. So we are like, okay, this is weird. Um, and we are just trying to figure things out. We are really hoping it's just like a food stain. But like when we smelled it, it kind of smelled like copper or like really dried up. Like, sorry, got a text. Um like a really dried up blood or something like that so we're not quite sure um what it is but i cleaned it up and it's pretty good it's it's all cleaned up and then it was like 11 50 or something and this person started knocking on our door it's like 11 50 at night and we were both freaking out because we were like we were just up late talking about like weird stuff not weird stuff but like kind of scary stuff i guess um and the timing was just so weird because natalia was saying like oh yeah like um because we're talking about supernatural stuff and like spirits and stuff and natalia was like yeah like um they can't come in unless you invite them in and then right when she said that, someone started knocking on the front door. And we're like, holy shit. And we like both jumped up. Natalia went to look through the peephole. And it was like this middle-aged man with a beard and like a button-down short sleeve shirt or something like that or flannel or something. And at, at this moment, I'm like texting John because I was asking John like if he came to the townhouse, which he didn't. And I'm like texting John, and I'm like, oh my god, someone just knocked on the door. And that's when he called me. And he was like, do you need me to come over? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who's at the door. And he's like, have Natalia look at him. Natalia looked at him. He looked perfectly normal, like no suspicious things going on with his face. Um, and then, And then he like knocked four times. And we just like stood there like we don't know what to do. And so we, what we did after the fourth knock is we went upstairs and looked out the windows. We couldn't see him. And then when we looked out the back window, we saw that the back gate was wide open. And Natalia's like, Tiff, did you close that? And I was like, yeah, like 100%. Like I closed that gate and I looked down and my bike is gone from the backyard so someone stole it and we didn't see who it was because I guess we caught them too late um but we realized that it was it was uh it was um what's it called um like these this these people work together so like this person knocked on the front door so that they could get our attention to the front while the guy well the other guy sneaked to the back and grabbed my bike like my bike isn't even that special it's a kid bike like it's literally a kid's bike and when i was at unique low right when i was riding my bike yesterday like, I felt like something was off. Like, the brakes were a little loose. I was like, nah, I, can't, I think I'm fine. Maybe, like, something stuck in it or something. But then when I was riding my bike home at 10, like, halfway through, when I was halfway home, my bike stopped 
working. Like, I couldn't pedal it, but I could push it. So I had to push it all the way home. And then, like, I was just talking to my parents, and I, and I was like, yeah, my bike's broken. And they're like, okay, just leave it in the back, but remember to lock it. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I never lock it, and I always leave it in the back, and nothing's happened. And I just, I just left it there. And then they stole it. I mean, it was broken. I don't know what they're going to do with that, but... Yeah, people stole my bike. It's really scary, though, because we really hope they don't come back. Um, it's just scary to think about, because then, like, if you think about it, they've probably been watching us for a few days, a couple days, a couple weeks. We don't know. So, it's just really, like, scary. And that's what happened yesterday. So, me and Natalia were freaked out. Um, of course, when we found out my bike was missing... I told John to come over, and John came over. He just scouted out the place, didn't find anything suspicious, like, like, like they weren't still here type thing. Um, so yeah, and then John just like spent the night because I didn't want him to walk home, and I don't think I could. Me and Natalie could stay here by ourselves that night, so it was really scary. And then I didn't go to Trio today. Yeah, I couldn't go to trio today because we stayed up so late. Like, we could not sleep. We didn't sleep till like, 3. Um, so, yeah, but I went to Uniqlo today. Got a ride home. That's why Helen drove me home. So, like, from now on, I'm trying to get a ride home every day. And just trying to be safe because people are crazy here. Um, but, yeah, that's an update on what happened. <sighs> Man update you guys more often but yeah that's what happened that's why my vlogs have been a little off but i'm gonna head to bed now i just finished eating and i'm so tired so yeah i'm gonna head out now hope you guys enjoyed that story time it's kind of intense um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment down below and i'll see you guys tomorrow